Photoshop CS3 Introduction In our life, we often click pictures as a remembrance of good and precious moments. Often, we like to change a few things in the clicked photos like removing unwanted background, dull skins, wrinkles, etc. We want our pictures to be bright and perfect like photos we see in magazine, catalogues or marriage albums. This magic of editing and manipulating photographs is called image editing. It is possible with an image editor like Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop CS3 is a popular image editing software used to create and manipulate images easily and efficiently. Photoshop was originally created by Thomas Knoll and further developed by Adobe Systems. It is popularly used by artists, designers and photographers in various fields such as architecture, animation, web design, journalism, etc. Features of Adobe Photoshop CS3 The features that make Photoshop the most popular image editor are A user-friendly interface Photo manipulation can be done in less time and effort. Preserve the original state of image while manipulating the image through layers. Simplified printing options make it easy to use as preview is available while printing. Produce multiple or complex images. Create graphics with small file size. Starting Adobe Photoshop CS3 For starting Adobe Photoshop on a computer, click Start button. Then All Programs. Select Adobe Master Collection and then Adobe Photoshop CS3. Or you may also double click on its shortcut on the desktop. Exploring Main Components of Adobe Photoshop CS3 this is the layout of Adobe Photoshop interface. Title Bar It is the topmost horizontal bar of Photoshop window which displays the name of the open file and program. Menu Bar If you look at the top of the screen, you will see the menu bar which contains all the main functions of Photoshop such as File, Edit, Image, Layer, Select, Filter, View, Window and Help. Context Menu It is below the menu bar which shows the options related to the tool being selected. Tool Panel Most of the major tools are located in the toolbar for creating, painting, editing images, artwork and page elements. Related tools are grouped together for easy access. Palettes. When you open Photoshop on the right side of window, palette is located. It will display different types of palettes such as layer, colors, etc. Screen mode. A small option at the last of tools panel is used to change the screen layout of a drawing. Creating a new file. To create a new file in Adobe Photoshop, click File menu and select New option. It will open the new dialog box. Specify the following details in that dialog box. Name. Assign your desired name to the file. By default, it is Untitled 1. Preset. Sets the standard settings for each type of document. Width and Height Specify width and height of the page or you can choose it from given list. Resolution Sets the number of pixels of an image. The higher the resolution, the better quality of the image you will get. The standard recommended resolution for printed images is 150 to 300 and for web images is 72. Color Mode 
sets the color mode for the image. You can select RGB for website graphics and CMYK for general image printing. Background contents sets the background color of the images or can change it to transparent. Click on OK button. A new blank canvas opens with a locked background layer. Now use the tools provided for creating your drawing. To save the file, click on File menu and select Save As option. Save As dialog box opens. Enter a name and file name box and click on Save button. Inserting images. You can insert new images in Adobe Photoshop in two ways. First option is to drag and drop the new image into the Photoshop window or click the file menu and select place option. A dialog box will appear. Select the picture from place dialog box. Click on the image and click on place button. Drag it to the place on the canvas where you want to place it. You can also resize and rotate the picture according to your requirement. Your image will be placed as a new layer in the Layers palette. Palettes Palettes are the floating paint boxes with various options to help the users to draw, paint, retouch or erase the images. They are available in a separate area on the right side of the Photoshop window. Palettes can be moved anywhere on the screen or can be closed as per the requirement. To move them from one place to another, click on the top of the palette, drag it to the desired place while keeping the left mouse button pressed. The expand dock is present on the right side of the palette window. It keeps those palettes hidden which we rarely use. It is indicated with double arrows. We can expand it to use or collapse it by clicking on the double arrow. Opening an image. If the image you want is saved on a disk, then follow the given steps to open an image. Select File menu and choose Open option. Click on Look in text box and from the drop down list, select location like libraries. Select folder the pictures from pictures and from there choose the image file and click open. The image will get sorted in the canvas. Selection tools. These tools allow you to cut, copy, edit or do retouching operations on whole image or any part of an image in various different ways. There are four different types of selection tools available in Adobe Photoshop. Rectangular Marquee Tool Elliptical Marquee Tool Single Row Marquee Tool Single Column Marquee Tool Marquee Tool Marquee Tool is the most used selection tool. This tool allows you to select a portion of the image in rectangular, elliptical, square or circular shape. The selected area is indicated on the screen by a blinking selection border called Marquee. To select an object by using Marquee tool, open any image on the canvas area, click on Marquee tool in the Tools panel or press M and select Rectangular Marquee tool. The cursor will appear as a crosshair sign. Hold the mouse and drag it over the area of the image you want to select. A dashed border will appear over the selected area. Now the selected area can be copied, moved or deleted. Here the selected area has been deleted. Lasso tools. Lasso tools are also used for selection of images. These are three useful tools for selecting irregular shapes by drawing a border around them. When we click on small triangle of lasso tool, it shows the three options. They are lasso tool, 
polygonal lasso tool, magnetic lasso tool. To select an object by using lasso tool, select the lasso tool or press L and the cursor will change to the lasso tool icon. Click on any point of the boundary of the image you want to select. Keeping the left button pressed, drag the mouse around the part of the image which is to be selected and return to the starting point. Release the mouse button and the selected area will be indicated with a dashed line. Now the selected area can be copied, moved or deleted. In this example, selected area has been deleted. Quick Selection Tool This tool has smart processing capability for quick selections. As we drag this tool, it automatically finds and follows the defined edges in the image. For selecting an object by using Quick Selection Tool, select the Quick Selection Tool from the Tools panel. If it is not there, then Right-click the magic wand tool and select it from there. The shortcut key is Shift W. The cursor will change to quick selection icon. Click on one edge of the part of the required image and drag towards the other edge. The area within those edges gets very precisely marked with dashed border. Now this selected area can be copied, moved or deleted. In this image, we have deleted the selected area. Crop tool. Cropping means to trim an image by adjusting its boundaries. This tool is used to remove or hide parts of an image that are not required. When we select an area of a picture with crop tool, it marks the selected area and deletes everything outside it. It uses color shading as a useful visual clue while making a crop. To select an object by using Crop Tool, open the desired image, select the Crop Tool from the Tools panel or press C. The cursor will change to Cropping icon. While pressing the left mouse button, drag the mouse over the part of the image that is to be kept as desired. One can resize the selected area by dragging the squares at the sides and corners. Release the mouse button when the selection is complete. The selected area will appear in original color and is called cropping marquee. Area outside the selection will appear dark to differentiate between the cropped and actual image. To complete the crop, Double-click inside the selection or press Enter key. The outer part will vanish and we will get the selected part as our image. Move tool This tool is used to move a selected part of an image to a different place in the file. To select an object by using Move tool, open the desired image Select any part of the image using Marquee Lasso Tool. Select Move Tool from the Tools panel or press V. The mouse cursor will change to an arrow sign. Now you can move your selected drawing anywhere you want. The selected part will change its place. Common Tools Photoshop is used as an image editing software rather than drawing software. But we can also create some artwork and give special effects to the existing pictures so that they appear more attractive and elegant. Pencil Tool Pencil Tool is used to draw freehand drawing with hard edges. This is a secondary tool of the Brush Tool. It is just a rip-off of Brush Tool. That is, it consists of one pixel Brush Tool tip and almost all options of brush tool are available in the pencil tool. Eraser tool Eraser tool is used to remove part of an existing drawing. To select an object by using eraser tool, select the eraser tool from the toolbox or press E. The cursor of the mouse will change into eraser icon. 
click and drag the mouse over the unwanted part of the image to erase. Gradient Tool A gradient is a fill consisting of two or more colors blending together. We can create nice color fills with smooth color changing effects. This tool can make a gradient of colors in the selected area or within the whole image in a specified pattern and create a changeover of colors. To select an object by using Gradient tool, open an image of any scenery or flower. Select the required area, select the Gradient tool from the Tools panel or press G. Open Gradient Editor dialog box from Gradient Sample. Select any of the gradients from the options given and click OK. Linear gradient shades from start to end point in a straight line. Radial gradient shades from start to end point in a circular pattern. Angle gradient shades anti-clockwise around the start point. Reflective gradient shades using symmetric linear gradients on either side of the start point. Diamond gradient shades from the start point outward in a diamond pattern. Click and drag the mouse pointer in the selected area. Press Ctrl D to deselect your selection. Selected gradient will get applied on the selected area. Paint Bucket Tool The Paint Bucket Tool of Photoshop is similar to the traditional Paint Bucket Tool of Paintbrush. It fills an image or part of it with solid colors or patterns based on a range of colors or tolerance. To select an object by using Paint Bucket Tool, select the Paint Bucket Tool from the Tools panel or press Shift G. The cursor of the mouse will change into a bucket. Select any appropriate foreground color from the color picker, for example, green. Click on the area of the image where you want to fill the color. The area will be filled with green color.